How to lose chest fat in four simple exercises. At a high body fat, I hold majority of my fat in my belly, love handles, and especially my chest. This is also me a few hours out from my last show. No chest fat. In this, we could consider single digit body fat. In this video, I'll be sharing the four simple exercises that help me tremendously develop my chest. The simple truth with the cases of man boobs are caused by having too high of a body fat percentage. And once you reduce your body fat percentage, your man boobs will disappear along with the rest of your upper body fat. When most people say man boobs, they're talking about the excess fat tissue on a man's chest that gives them the appearance of having female breasts, like this. The technical term for this condition is cytogynecomastia, basically translates to fake female breast growth, which is a pretty accurate description of what's going on. The truth is, we all have the ability to have an amazing chest, also known as your pectoralis major, the most superficial muscle of the chest. If you're watching this video, you fall in either one of these four problem scenarios. Scenario one, you have a poorly developed chest. Scenario two, you have a high body fat percentage and most of the fat is deposited in your chest area. Scenario three, you're both at a high body fat percentage and you have a poorly developed chest. And scenario four is you suffer from gynecomastia. The best and only way to get rid of chest fat and man boobs is to be in a caloric deficit. But in this video, I'll be focusing more on scenario one. Before we dive in, a lot of research and editing goes into making a video like this. I work my ass off. Just do me one favor, if you wouldn't mind, gently hit the like button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you enjoy this kind of content, subscribe and hit the notification bell if you're new. Watch this video till the end and I'll be doing a massive giveaway. Let's kick it off. Training. It's the driving force to body recomposition, meaning it's easy to lose fat by using the diet alone, but nearly impossible to build muscle without weight training. Weight training is paramount to building muscle and improving body composition. Developing a strong chest involves these exercises. The pecs are divided into three parts according to its origin. Pars clavicularis, which contains descending fibers, the upper part. Pars sternocostalis, the lateral fibers, the middle part, and pars abdominalis, the ascending fibers, the lower part. While there are no upper and lower chest muscles, it's a physiomechanical matter, of course, that different exercises and working angles will stress ascending, descending, and lateral fibers to a different degree. So it may be impossible to isolate certain fiber strands. It is possible to shift the main workload from one strand to the other by selecting the appropriate exercises. Having an outstanding chest requires these four simple workouts. Exercise one, a total of eight studies were utilized for referencing this video. And one consistency was that the barbell bench press is by far the best exercise for chest development. And therefore it deserves to be the first exercise in any training program targeting the chest. Akagi and colleagues found that there was a direct correlation with your pectoral size and your bench press performance. The EMG data from Boak, Burns and Buskies showed that the barbell bench press being the most superior chest exercise. Exercise two, incline press, targeting the upper chest, pars clavicularis. Chebs and colleagues found that a bench angle of 44 degrees and 56 degrees resulted in greater chest activation of the upper pectoralis compared to a horizontal bench. The EMG data from Boak, Burns and Busky shows that the incline bench press with an angle of more than 45 degrees provided a 69% more intense stimulation of the upper chest. In other words, descending fibers of the pars clavicularis are optimally stimulated and will thus, as bro science tells you, bring up your upper pecs. What makes incline dumbbell alpha is that it's supposed to be harder than flat dumbbell. Why I've picked up the incline dumbbell bench over the barbell is to one, provide a greater range of motion at the bottom and at the top of the movement, providing more bang for your buck in this exercise. How to perform this exercise? Again, to preserve your shoulders and avoid injury, have your elbows slightly tucked. Make sure that the peak of the press, the dumbbell is over your chest and not your face. Also, concentrate on squeezing the chest at the top of the movement. Exercise three, cable crossover or pec deck. A study from the American Council of Exercise analyzing the top three most effective chest exercises. 
Utilizing the average EMG data and RPE, which is ratings of preserved exertion, is a scale used to measure the intensity of your exercise between 0 and 10. From 0 being nothing at all, 4 being somewhat heavy, 7 very heavy and 10 being very, very heavy. Both the pec deck at 98% muscle activation compared to the barbell bench press and the bent forward cable crossover, 93% of muscle activation elicited nearly equivalent muscle activation as the barbell bench press. Likewise, ratings of perceived exertion for each exercise of these three were comparable as well. The EMG data from Bork, Burns and Buskies also goes to show that the cable crossover being the second most effective exercise, further supporting its claim for the third most important exercise in your chest arsenal. Exercise 4, dips or cable chest raises. A comparison of weight and body weight movements using EMG measurements would not be fair because most muscular activation increases with load and the load would be constant and for advanced trainees, low relatively to their strength in body weight only exercises. Why dips would be great finisher is due to its ability to properly stimulate the lower pecs, pars abdominalis and their ascending fibers. I'd also try this variation of cable raises, one of my favorite chest finishers. And why I love it so much is that it has constant tension and it allows you to properly activate the lower pectoralis. To reiterate, to target problem scenarios two and three, it's going to be mainly the diet. It's almost impossible to lose fat tissue without having the correct diet. You can do as many chest exercises as possible, but it's very likely that you'll still have a lot of fat tissue around your chest. Therefore, it is also equally as important to focus on your diet. You need to be in a caloric deficit. I'll leave the video here. I hope you've enjoyed it, but I'm going to do a giveaway as I promised. I'm going to pick 10 people from the comments and I'm going to be giving away an ebook that I created of training and dieting. It is complete. I have been building it over the last five years. I'm going to give it for free. All you need to do is comment down below what your favorite chest exercise is and why. Number two, like the video and number three, be subscribed. That's all you need to do to be able to enter. I'm going to pick 10 people. And as I promised, I am going to also announce the winners of the giveaways of the three things, Alpha Lee, Gymshark or EHP Labs. The winners are Louis Bodkus, Yasin Rami, and finally Payne. Send me a DM on Instagram. You have 48 hours. Send me a DM to claim your prize. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.